Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Karen. I hope you're all well. Um, as you can see, I have my little display nail tip all ready to go. We are going to be practicing some gel polish ombres today. So I'm getting out my base coat and I'm just doing a little layer uh, before curing in the lamp. I should say at this point, gel polish ombre is something that I have struggled with for a very long time. It has taken me a while to kind of, you know, get my groove kind of going with it and get my own little technique. What works for me? Um, I know some people do it with sponges, etc., and all the rest of it, but this technique works for me and I find it the easiest. So I'm going in with my first colour over that cured base coat and um, I'm just applying it really neatly where the cuticle area would be and um, I'm not going in with too much just enough to cover it so I just kind of dab it on and just a little bit not too far down even sort of less like I mean possibly a quarter of the nail is what I would cover and then I'm going in with my second colour and as you can see I just set it down and then I butt some of the colour up to the other one so that I don't contaminate my brush with another colour. I sort of just find this the easiest, um, just by sort of pushing the colours together that way. And then once I have that layer done, and I'm happy enough with that, then I will go in with my third and final colour. I like to do a gel polish ombre with three colours. I just kind of find that it's, I, I just like that effect. I think it has the best effect. So. As you can see, my lightest shade, which would be at the free edge, has got um, sort of the most nail space, if you will. Um, so the darker colour has got less, and then the mid colour a little bit more, and then the light one at the free edge has got obviously the most, because we're going to be blending down from the cuticle to the free edge, so it just sort of works better that way. So once I'm happy with that, I just drag any excess um, of that colour that I do have on there, I just take it off, and then it's time then to get my ombre brush out. Okay, so just using the tip of my ombre brush, I, I really, really, really gently just kind of like almost dot the colours together. As you can see, I'm just almost like sort of dotting back and forward. And I just kind of find that this helps to very, very gently bleed those colours into each other. Um, don't forget to wipe off the tip of the brush whenever you move down to the next line of colours that you want to blend. For example, the purple and the pink and um, just so that you don't obviously get any of the blue mixed into the the lighter tones because you don't want that to happen you know you want to ensure that your blend is going to be nice but like I say I just do this really 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 lightly and um, I just kind of find it helps um, sort of blend those colors before I sort of you know go in and do the full ombre if you know what I mean but you'll see that in the next step Okay, so now time to blend all the colours together. So as you can see here, you can see a lot of the white of the nail. If you're doing it at that pressure, that is too heavy right there. So what you need to do is just make it really nice and light where you can sort of hardly see the colour of the tip sort of, you know, below the actual, the gel polish. Um, so just as lightly as you possibly can and I'm leaving this here in real time um, just so that you can actually sort of see the movements that I use back and forth back and forth from sort of side to side and um, like I say just really really lightly and I just do this all the way down the nail continuously really slowly and just taking my time and I think that that's the key to a really good ombre is just sort of taking your time once I get down then to the end, I just simply wipe my brush and then I go into the lamp for a cure because we're gonna do this all over again. Okay, so again, I've just sped this bit up, but just as before, I am applying my gel polish. 
um, applying those little layers and this time um, I probably go in with a little bit less of the blue and then I bump the purple up to it and again just sort of push some of the product up with the tip of my brush so that I don't contaminate the colour on my gel polish brush and then again I will do that with a pink and then once I have got all my colour on then I'm just going to go back in with my ombre brush and do exactly the same steps as I done before so I'll just let you watch the rest of this but again keep your strokes really 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 light and feathery and um, just take your time doing this and I think that the you know as long as you take your time and you go in with the lightest touch I think that that gets the best results and in this second coat you'll really see that ombre coming together because it does take the second coat to really make it look good. Okay, so now that we're out of the lamp, it's time to add our little clouds and some details. So I'm just wiping off that inhibition layer with some gel cleanser and I've put a little bit of white gel polish on my palette and I have just this sort of old um, art brush really. Um, I can't actually remember where I got this brush from. But uh, dipping into the white gel polish, I just sort of start to put the base of my cloud down. I like kind of like flat based clouds so I'm just putting that base down and um, in this first cloud I'm showing you how you, obviously you can do it with the dotting tool. You can just sort of like randomly pick up the gel polish and just sort of, you know, place the little dots as you go. I like to get my brush as well too and just kind of like um, uh, tidy up the, the base of the cloud. But in the next cloud I'm going to show you how I do it then just with a brush because I kind of find that it gives... Um, a bit more of a wispier look which I kind of just prefer I just sort of prefer using the brush with it um, I find it a nicer easier way of doing it so again I'm just um, applying some of that white gel polish detail on my cloud I just find that I have more control over the brush and again just sort of making sure the base of the cloud is nice and straight so I shall let you watch the rest of my cloud application and then we'll move on to the next step Okay, so now that our little clouds are all cured, um, we're moving on to the next step, which is just adding some little bit of um, extra sparkly detail. You don't have to do this step. And uh, all I've done is I've just put some base coat down. I'm just picking up some little stars and bits of glitter and just kind of setting them here and there to give a bit more of a, of a magical night sky kind of look. So once I have that cu uh, cured, then I go in with my wet finish. Um, this is a kind of like a, a top coat uh, gel which um, is one of my favourites because it gives that beautiful wet look finish that lasts for ages and it's super duper shiny so once I have applied that, just a nice thin layer of that, then I go in for a cure. Okay guys, and this is the finished look. This is our little uh, fairy tale cloud gel polish ombre. 
with stars and some sparkles um, just to give it that bit more of a magical feel but I hope that you enjoyed this little tutorial um, gel polish ombre is something that I have struggled with for quite a while so um, I think sort of finding a te technique that works for you is really important and not that there's anything different or unique about how I do it but it's just the way that works for me so give it a go if it's something you struggle with keep at it keep practicing because it feels so good whenever you sort of feel like you've mastered something um, but I hope that you have a fantastic week ahead don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you all again next time